We come together today to joyfully announce our public commitment to participate in the Laudato Si Action Platform, a seven-year transformative journey towards sustainability in the spirit of Pope Francis' landmark encyclical, Laudato Si. The Laudato Si Action Platform is a call to the universal church, families, parishes, and dioceses, educational and healthcare institutions, organizations, and religious orders of women and men to take concrete steps toward a sustainable future in the spirit of Laudato Si. As Sister Jean said, over the next seven years, the Congregation of Sisters of St. Agnes, as well as the associate community, plan to be part of the critical mass needed to create a global paradigm shift, which is nothing short of a transformation of our relationship with Earth and all who share our common home. In the coming year, we will assess what we are already doing to address the goals of Laudato Si and dream of what more could be possible to fulfill a plan that will enable us to more fully realize the vision of Pope Francis's encyclical over the next seven years. We will be guided by our corporate stance on care for Earth and the actions we have committed to. Our statement proclaims, in light of the growing impact of climate change on the global community, we, the Congregation of Sisters of St. Agnes, and the Associate Community, USA. Honoring our interdependence with all of God's creation and in a spirit of nonviolence, personally, communally, and collaboratively commit to actions that flow from a spirituality of integral ecology that expresses interconnections among environmental, economic, scientific, social, and cultural systems. Respect Earth and the interdependence of all life. Consume less of Earth's non-renewable resources through the six R's, refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle, repurpose, and restore. Educate ourselves and others about the equitable development of renewable, cleaner energy sources in order to mitigate the impact of climate change and enable the most vulnerable to adapt to climate change. Promote a low carbon economy, especially in Nicaragua and the USA where we serve. Cooperate with government and non-government organizations that are committed to care for Earth. Again, this is not a new commitment, but rather a deepening of our community's recognition of the sacred interdependence of creation in our place in the web of life. This is an opportunity to recommit ourselves to developing and acting out an ecological consciousness, both individually and corporately. This renewed commitment is especially critical given the urgent need to address the global climate crisis. We are fortunate to have three sisters who have become certified Laudato Si animators, sisters Dolores Lytle, Trish Weidman, and Dulce Maria Rodriguez who can provide insight and direction to our congregation's movement toward an integral ecology. Additionally, our JPEG coordinator, Tracy Abler, has recently become a certified animator. She will be working closely with leadership and all of us as we move through this process. We will hear from her next. Thank you, Cindy. I'm excited for CSA to be joining the Laudato C Action Platform a space that provides a global community of support and offers shared ideas and exciting action, not only for Catholics, but for the whole human family. Indeed, women religious are ahead in these initiatives, especially in our environmental efforts. However, we must not lose sight of the end goal, which is to work together to create a sustainable and integral ecology, meaning understanding how everyone and everything is connected. Today's problems call for a vision capable of taking into account every aspect of the global crisis. Poverty, immigration, racism, trafficking, and so on. The Pope writes in his encyclical, nature cannot be regarded as something separate from ourselves or a mere setting in which we live. We are part of nature. As we journey the next seven years together, integral ecology will be the overarching theme in the work of the JPIC office, which will be guided by our care for earth stance and the themes of Catholic social teaching. These themes are largely incorporated into the Pope's Laudato Si encyclical. Year one of this journey will be one of preparation 
to include developing procedures and guidelines essential to sustainable ecology and a survey tool to measure our annual progress. I'll be working with the Laudato C Action Platform team of sisters and associates and ideally eventually lay people in our community. Additionally, we look forward to collaborating with Marion University's Social Justice Committee, which is currently discerning the Pope's call and what that means for their staff and students. Thank you, Tracy, and thank you to all our CSA sisters and associates. We are now embarking on a journey of commitment to care for Earth, our common home, in a very deliberate manner over the next seven years. Together, we can make an impact that works towards providing the generations to come the ability to enjoy the beauty and bounty that has marked our lives on this planet. We show our gratitude for all that God has given us as we go forward in faith, hope, and love. Thank you.